if a spirit of competition enters you you are not the same man again the bible says that the spirit from the presence of the lord eh, the spirit of the lord departed from saul and an evil spirit from the lord you are not the same man again the pulpit has not changed but what is speaking has changed and you're not even aware in a minister's conference a major minister's conference in this country the the chief minister came and said see let me tell you the truth ministry is competition you know who i'm talking about you know no you 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 know don't he said don't miss it ministry is what you know what he has succeeded in doing he has sown a seed that will defy the fountain of those ministers as long as you are trying to compete flesh is in it the form is in it and something else will inspire you along that line that thing will be your sermon that thing will be your message and unknown to you it will affect the people that you are raising just because you have a heart that is inclined onto it. what competition at what point was peter now a mouthpiece for the devil the same peter that said thou art the christ the son of the living god in the same context in the same sequence of verses after that utterance, that mighty confession peter spoke from, by the devil and jesus said get ye behind me Satan." what was peter's problem he leaned to a desire of the flesh just by leaning to a desire of the flesh he became an oracle for satan shortly after he prophesied accurately what was the desire of the flesh that he linked on jesus began to talk about how that he was going to die uh -uh. and suddenly the guy now felt that the 12 thrones that jesus spoke about that they were going to sit upon to drop the 12 tribe of, of israel i hope you know a king is only relevant if he's alive the guy said don't say that anymore he called him and rebuked him why why are you talking about that you the thrones you don't understand kingdom it's only kings that are alive that rule let today's king kings die so that tomorrow's will live and you are here see take time take time my son is he's 12 years old now take time that this <laughs> that desire of the flesh made him give utterance to the devil if you know what i'm talking about you will guard your heart diligently Sometimes you need to come back and 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 go and meet somebody that is very sincere, that is not afraid of you, and say, uh, because when something is too close to your eyes, you can't read it. So you have to take it back. So mm -hmm. you you are the only you are the one that will not know yourself more. Ah, pulpit man, come on. If your wife, I don't know if your wife has that place in your life. That can tell you the truth. I said, bro, nothing happened today. You were in the flesh. <laughs> but but it may be that in your own life, your wife is not like that. Eh? She's always your own day like that. Then you are blessed. My own will say it's like. <laughs> if you don't say, she will say this is like no. she say, it's like, it's like uh, Now, so don't 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 die on the pulpit you need a, a very honest opinion about and then when you notice that the thing you withdraw let somebody else preach go back that's why i like this one is once in a month after this one we'll go for checkup then you see there'll be don't be preach, don't be preaching too much go and check yourself you had you have heart problem the lord will help us in the name of jesus for you to be a fountain that men can depend on the covenant that you have with god you will check your system you will check your heart and you will cry many times you will know at what point you will begin to like what god doesn't like when that begins to happen and the fact that you are a human means it will happen Don't say, no, I've been preaching for... No, when you notice an infirmity, go to the clinic 
of heaven take a bed admit yourself connect drip and be there and be saying lord have mercy lord. connect by yourself by yourself if you lose the virtue of sincerity your fountain of inspiration is damaged the bible said there is a spirit in man and the only way by which you can have understanding is by the inspiration of the Almighty. That's the only way. Meanwhile, I need you to understand that there are revelations you can articulate in the flesh. Because Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed this. So there are some things you can stumble on by fleshly effort. But if you, you need understanding of the inspiration, eh? it will come only by the Holy Ghost. You need understanding. Is the inspiration of the Almighty that give it them. If you lose your sincerity, your virtue of sincerity, you are false. There are several people that what they are doing is money. The people became false a long time ago. There's nothing wrong with the anointing. The anointing is still there, still valid. But what the anointing is deployed to achieve is inconsistent with the nature of the Spirit of God. As we see, as we leave here this conference, let us live with this knowledge. Hallelujah. Are you still with me? Yes, live with this knowledge that you cannot allow bitterness in your heart. You cannot be a believer that is competitive. You understand that? People will be better than you, for God's sake. <laughs> They'll be better. I appreciate them in the name of Jesus there's nothing you can do about it I remember a pastor he, he came here and said ah, all these pastors that they just ordained they don't even respect again some of the escorts know who I'm talking about when I began to hear those words I knew something was wrong with the fountain and only God knows how far I went to pray and beg God concerning that soul but that begging did not affect the person's life the fountain was corrupted it is possible that the anointing that god puts upon you becomes what will make you proud and once pride comes in the fountain is corrupted it will take many years before you cap you, you capsize you but the fountain is already corrupted if you are somebody that wants to go far with the holy spirit Please don't joke with things like pride. Don't joke with things like ego. It's, it's, a, it's a sign of corruption. So a man like Saul, called by God, anointed by God, ended up corrupted. So even though God called you, your call is valid. Your anointing is valid. Your end can be corruption. Moses ended in disobedience. Elijah ended in depression. And that's why Jesus had to become a better example than Elijah and Moses on the Mount of Transfiguration. The true face of the kingdom appeared beyond Elijah and beyond Moses. How did he end? He ended with prayer. Forgive them. For they know not what they do. Ah, bro. I will end with prayer on my lips. Some people will end with heartache. Go. Mm. Ah. Check the fountain. Check the. Please help me preach to your neighbor. Check the fountain. For there is a spirit in man. The inspiration of the Almighty. Give it.